Greetings and welcome to a very, very special edition of the Gadget Guru Show. In fact, it's so rare and so path-breaking that I have to define it for you. Now, of course the stories are amazing and of course everything else is amazing, but this is special and rare because... Because there is no Vikram Chandra on the show. Yes, I'm very happy. I'm sure you are too. So we've got to get started because we're doing a show about cameras and joining me instead of Vikram is going to be Priyanka Chopra. So like I said, a very special show, one we must get started with right now. So now that you know what we have on the show and what we don't have on the show, we will move on now. All the news from the world of gadgets. Samsung has launched its much-anticipated smartphone Galaxy S4 in India, priced at 41,500 rupees for the 16 GB variant. Galaxy S4 will be available starting Saturday, April 27 from 12 noon to 4 pm from Samsung premium brand stores in Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore and Hyderabad, as well as other stores post 4 pm with special offers from the company. The Galaxy S4 sports a 13 megapixel rear shooter and a 2 megapixel one on the front. The S4 will have 5-inch Full HD screen with a resolution of 1080 by 1920 pixel and a pixel density of 441 ppi. It is powered by 1.6 GHz Exynos octa-core processor and comes with 2 GB of RAM. It seems like the Motorola X smartphone should be hitting the market very soon and will be dubbed Google X. This revelation is based on the report by Android Headlines via Japanese blog Rabmen. This report suggests that Motorola X smartphone has made an appearance on the Antutu benchmark results. The smartphone carries the name Google X which is very similar to Motorola X and hence making the blog believe that these two may actually be the same smartphone. The world of standalone cameras. When camera phones came in, most people said this market was completely dead. Now it has got affected, but not by as much as people thought. And now I believe the comeback of standalone cameras has started. For example, I hold in my hand a camera that is actually waterproof. You can shoot 60 feet down in water, dust proof and can do a whole lot more. Another, slim as a compact camera, but has all DSLR features. So I will take a look at three cameras from Nikon and then of course, Priyanka Chopra joins me on the show. This week on Gadget Guru, we dive back into the world of cameras. We take a look at three cameras from Nikon's latest range and put it to the sword. How do they fare? Let's find out. Part of the Nikon Spring series of cameras that the company recently unveiled, Coolpix A is an odd beast. It features a great sturdy design with a compact form factor that is a trademark of the Coolpix series coupled together with a new 18.5mm f2.8 Nikkor lens and a DX format CMOS sensor. The camera also features a XP2 image processing engine that delivers sharper images and provides an ISO range from 100 to 6400. The user interface is simple but requires a lot of button presses to navigate. The dials on the camera for some reason cannot be used to navigate the menus which is rather odd. Another sore point is the price. At 54,950 rupees, it's rather steep but apart from these squabbles aside, the Coolpix A is a great camera and perfect for anyone looking for an entry level DSLR or a high end consumer camera. The AW110 is the rugged camera in the lineup. It's waterproof up to 18 meters, which is especially useful for divers looking for a compact solution to capture their escapades underwater. It even features an underwater scene mode that adjusts settings for you to get a good shot. It is also shock resistant too, from up to 2 meters height and can withstand temperatures up to minus 10 degrees Celsius. The camera also has Wi-Fi functionality, but also throws in GPS and gives you access to maps and point of interest. The camera features a 3-inch OLED display which also doubles as a viewfinder. For a price of 16,950 rupees, this is a nice camera for those looking for a compact and sturdy solution for their adventures outdoors. The Coolpix S6500 is the consumer camera of the group and is designed to appeal with a slim profile and comes in variety of colors for you to choose from. The camera features a 12x optical zoom wide-angle Nikon lens that has an effective range of angles from 25mm to 300mm. 
Like its ilk before, it features the same Wi-Fi functionality which enables you to quickly share your photos or videos with minimal hassle and also comes equipped with retouch effects that allows you to add filters to your photos. It also presents variety of scene modes to choose from. It also features remote shooting functionality when paired to a device. It can also shoot 1080p video at 30 frames per second. Overall, at a price of 11,950 rupees, a decent buy for those who don't want to splurge a lot of money but also get some nice features. Now, you've seen the cameras, but as the promise was, there's lots more besides the three cameras. Now, what can I say? It's Priyanka Chopra. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start off first with the parts that you and me love the most, which is tech and the Gadget. geeks that we are, right? Okay, so moving on. Tell me a little bit about the cameras that you really love because, you know, it's becoming more and more difficult for standalone camera companies to do something which is a disruptor, which is exciting, to say, buy this over and above a camera phone because camera phones are really increasingly becoming very good. For girls like me, it's a fashion statement. It's an accessory. It's really not just a camera. It comes out of your clutch and our clutches are very small. Yeah. You can only fit like lipsticks inside. <laughs> but it fits into that. It's light, it's really cool, it's great looking. And more than that, it has almost all the features that a, like a big DSLR would have. You know, like a big professional camera would have. So, which is what I think is really cool and it's an individual choice. I mean, yeah, there'll be a lot of people out there who say uh, camera phones, camera phones, it's amazing. I honestly, when it comes to taking pictures, enjoy taking pictures from cameras so much more. Even though it's super simple, right? All you have to do is take out a chip, put it into your laptop and you have all your cameras. I mean, all your pictures. So that's one camera. You, you've told me some of the reasons you really like it. I want to know about this one. Okay. Yeah. Now this is the this is the fun camera and also I think the kind of camera that will get amazing use. It is an amazing camera first of all. Um, so second, you see yourself using this including the camouflage print on it? I love the camouflage print on it. I'm an army brat. Okay. I think it makes everything look really cool. Secondly, this is a waterproof camera. So if you're going, like I like going scuba diving and the ocean and, and you know, you can go up to almost what 59 feet which is a lot of... Uh, and what is another thing is that you can drop it from about six feet and it we say you know i can't ask you to go 59 feet down because the, you can't ask the, me to go six feet here, up also no? nee, but see, look, you can throw it six feet up look i mean the proof of the pudding nee, 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 come on it's 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 you I represent the it, brand you know? okay so 6.6 6 feet up is what you're going with okay yeah now remember you're doing this not us the brand not ambassador yeah, yeah absolutely okay then so, i'll do it with time ready <laughs> okay we're ready Listen, I think with the way it came down and, you know, that very solid sound that came, this could last more. So, you think you want to do... Okay, no. Let me do it higher. <laughs> no, no, I think we're good. <laughs> I, mean, I, I think it works for sure. And of course, the third camera, again, you want to take us through what you think is the one thing you really love in this one? So, this is like a DSLR. You know those big professional cameras that you have photographers taking everywhere? I mean, I know them because I have photographers taking my photos in them. <laughs> But, when, like yeah. I bought one, my first camera, my first professional camera was a Nikon and this was before I got associated with the brand. And uh, I was very like um, excited with the lenses and I used to you know, carry it in this big pouch and <laughs> I was very, very enthu about it. Mm. But now, that, in, that big camera you have in just this much. Okay, now, now let's get down to the one big question. The entire world of cameras, right? Uh, Fantastic for memories, amazing you look back upon. It's almost magic when you see a picture which has been taken 10 or 15 years back. Has that changed because it's gone digital? Because suddenly we all have pictures stored away, not shared. See, there are pros and cons to this. The fact that we've gone digital is um, there's no more that much waste, uh, first and foremost, when it comes to film and all of that. But the con to that is the feeling of film. Film is film. Like when you shoot a movie on film, when you take a picture on film, there's a difference in quality, one. Second of all, I feel uh, with, with digital, you can share a lot more. What has happened in today's day and age, I put out one picture on Facebook and I can, for me at least, uh, or on Twitter and I have millions of people who can see it. Whereas before, we used to have that picture, put it in our albums, print it out, put it in photo frames and ten people would see it. So sharing has become easier since we've digitized everything. A lot of tech talk and now for this thing now, we'll come down to the two or three fun things which really is what I'm looking forward to. If somebody came up to you, and let's, let's take it to be an icon, Nikon only, they come up and they say we're doing the Priyanka Chopra version of a camera. One feature that you have to come up with, which has to be very futuristic, and you say, okay, listen, I'm going to put my name on the camera. I'm, you've already got the look, the feel, the color. Now, one feature inside that truly defines you, thus your name on the camera. I'm a little naughty, 
So I get naughty thoughts in my head. So I'll call those, it. Those are always good. So, we, <laughs> so I'll call it Priyanka's triple X, and it'll have X-ray vision. Oh. So you can see through people's bags, their minds. Minds also, huh? not just. Strangely enough, that's not what came to my I mind know. for the first Which time. Which is why I didn't say it. What came to your mind? Okay, no, I, I thought may, maybe the clutch bag. I, somehow just oh, the right. clutch bag came oh, okay, to me. Okay, you know, okay. which, which lipstick color is inside? Right. Exactly that's what, what I mean. Course, I mean. <laughs> okay, last question, and this is called the island question. Okay, if you're marooned on an island, you have just three choices a person, a device, or anything else. You can only choose one. What would you like with you and why? One person, I think. Uh, I would, oh, my dad would hate being marooned on an island. My mom would be very excited about it, actually. A gadget, you said? I guess then I would take my camera. Yeah, I mean, to take amazing a, pictures complete, and, yeah, you know. Yeah, a life blend of whatever you And do like a photo shoot on the beach and, and <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and any one other thing that you can't live without? Um, it sounds really, really superficial, but if I knew I was going to be stuck on an island, I would really like to take all my junk food. But like chips and, and you know, all these like really junky food thingies. Okay, great, great meeting you again. Fantastic taking a look at the cameras that you've launched, all with good disruptors. Mm -hmm. And great that you were able to find some interesting things, as always. Fantastic. So that was Priyanka Chopra, a true geek. If I've ever met one, she really knows her tech. We'll take a break right now on the Gadget Guru Show. When we come back, there is Snap Judgment, there's gaming, there's apps, a lot more when we come back. Welcome back. This is the very, very special edition of the Gadget Guru Show. It's not what we have, it's what we don't have that makes it very special. As you can see, there is no Vikram Chandra. We'll move on now. Snap judgment. There is Karan Pateja now that is going to show you Bluetooth headsets that are all voice activated. Yes, it's a category that came with a serious bang. As you could see, more or less each and every one using a Bluetooth headset as an extended accessory. But then again, it went out with the fizzle, mainly due to lack of innovation. So this week, it's all about next generation of Bluetooth headsets that can take your call without a press of a button. Geared towards casual mobile users, Marky 2 M165 from Plantronics boasts voice activation feature thanks to a customized app as saying answer or ignore is all that you need to handle your calls. Answer. The headset also features multi-point technology for pairing two different phones at the same time. Ergonomically small in size, the Bluetooth headset features dual microphones built in which surprisingly are effective enough in blocking background noise and minimizing wind. For manual users, Marquee 2 features an easy to locate multifunction button for answering and ending calls. But what's not so easy is the volume and mute button. The headset also comes with a deep sleep power saving mode as it slips into slumber if it's no longer in range of your phone for more than 90 minutes. Now once back in range all you need to do is just tap a little on this multifunction button and you're connected. Now the thing is according to the manufacturer this should last you up to 11 hours of talk time. I have to be honest in my test it was up to 7 hours but then again Looking at its small size, which obviously means small battery size, and the fact that it has dual microphones, I think that's a very decent performance for the size that it offers. And now to a device that not just offers more in terms of size, but also a lot more in terms of features. Voyager Legend from Plantronics boasts a smart sensor technology that reacts as soon as you wear it, so you don't have to click anything when the phone rings as the headset announces who's calling so you don't need to take a look at your phone screen and can respond back with the usual commands of answer or ignore to take or drop the call. Answer. Bigger in size, the headset has a long curved boom that houses whopping three mics to cancel noise and wind, voice commands and support smart sensor technology. Controlled by just four buttons, the headset can swivel 180 degrees, further enabling it to be worn on either ear. And despite its size, the whole thing just weighs 18 grams. The device is also applied with nano coating to make it sweat and moisture proof and comes with the usual multi-point support for up to two devices. Besides Bluetooth 3.0, the Voyager Legend supports A to DP, allowing you to stream podcast, music and FM radio. Now once again, my problem with the device was its battery time. It lasted nearly about five hours. Having said that, I have to admit that the voice quality overall was excellent. But then again, 
for a product that is costing more than five and a half thousand rupees the least i would expect is a micro usb charging and now moving on to an altogether different form factor and a different voice command 86080 from Rappo is an over the head foldable offering and rather than answer or ignore it works with a simple yes, yes and no the foldable headset is cushioned on the headband with inner soft leather cushions for lengthy listening it's controlled with one multifunctional control button under the left ear cover for operations of power on and off volume and manual call answering if desired the bluetooth 4.0 headset comes with double connection feature for pairing two different phones at the same time the device can also be used as a wide headset when connected to a computer by usb for movies music and video calling now even though the manufacturer claims up to 10 hours of battery life believe me when i say this it will ask you for a plug-in at nearly about seven hours of usage also, while I'm okay to ignore this whole plasticky feel that this headset gives you, what I would have desired would have been track changing feature at this multifunction button because at nearly six and a half thousand rupees, that should have been a must have. Okay, we'll move on. Bluetooth headsets will take us directly into apps. The first one will really hook you. And the second one is all about a website that shows you everything you dreamed about. Never thought it'll come, but the preview is already there. This week we help you sort through thousands of games to find the ones you want. And we help you expand your tablet or phone experience with XTA. Hooked is an app that gives you suggestions of games based on your choices and usage. It also takes into account the types of games present on your Android phone and even takes into account what you normally play with friends and your social gaming preferences. The point of collecting all this data is it gives you personalized recommendations. Hooked also doubles up as your manager, allowing you to categorize your installed games and create your own personalized game channel. XTA developers have been around for a while now. A group of users, tech journalists, developers all joined together to create a website full of apps and devices review, user modifications, ROMs for Androids, tips and tricks for Windows and Android phones. Along with new apps that may not have hit the marketplace yet, latest news and a whole lot more. If you own an Android or a Windows phone device, you owe it to yourself to check these guys out. Okay, that was the app section, but now we'll move on to gaming. No, no, actually we won't. I'll tell you what, I'm going to save up gaming for after the break because there's a lot of injustice that is going to be done and injustice needs more time. So that's happening after the break. Welcome back to the Gadget Guru Show, a very special show, but now we're moving on to gaming right now. Now, you know, I've always been fascinated by the very idea and the world of superheroes. Usually they always turn out to be doing good things, but now it seems a game has woken up to the idea that the romance of superheroes and always being good may not necessarily be all that entertaining. Injustice, the god amongst us, and I think Karan must be thinking it's him, but it may turn out to be somebody else. So Karan, take over. Injustice is all yours. Injustice is definitely all minds when it comes to this show. Having said that, trust me, I have no hallucinations of any sort. I am no god. But as far as superhero is concerned, have you heard about K1? Um, cool one? Um, Karan one? Okay, I'm just kidding. Having said that, if you've always been in love with superheroes, trust me, this is a different avatar of all of them. This is going to be the anti-hero avatar. Yes, that's right. Without revealing any further, here is Injustice gods among us. A fighting game based upon fictional universe of DC Comics, Injustice Gods Among Us involves one-to-one -one matches between 3D characters on 3D background placed on 2D settings. Also while each match consists of only one round, each player this time has two health bars on offer. Besides using a 4 control button layout for light, medium and heavy attacks, you can also use a character trait button that unleashes character specific ability or attack. 
that what is new to this game is something I have yet to see in any other fighter and that is the interactive environment which means that each setting is jam packed with objects to pick up and throw or bounce your opponent off of it or in fact land certain attacks at the right spots to give your enemy a spectacular beating. Now the only problem with that is that it leaves the whole landscape and the environment completely destructed and destroyed. But then again, as far as I'm concerned, isn't that a good news? I can't make contact. The game also has a story mode, which surprisingly is really good for a fighter game. Split into several chapters, players can swap between different superhero characters as the narrative plays out. Where Superman's lost faith in humanity and decided it was time to stop protecting and start ruling the world, with only Batman and his team standing in the way. Now in the end I have to say that Injustice is an exciting and a great fighter for casual as well as hardcore gamers. In fact, even the story mode is a pleasant surprise. But as far as I'm concerned, nothing beats the straightforward bash between characters who are rightly deemed as gods amongst us. And for that and only for that, I think it's worth a purchase. Having said that, now it's time to take a look at what else is happening in the world of gaming in this week's gaming news. Airtel and Microsoft have tied up to launch a combo offer under which the two companies are offering a number of freebies including Xbox Live Gold memberships to new and existing Xbox customers who choose Airtel as their internet service provider. Consumers who buy an Xbox 360 4GB Kinect console and upgrade or purchase a new Airtel high speed broadband connection can get discounts up to 15,500 rupees. It's worth pointing out that the discount is only applicable when the customer pays an annual rental of 8500 rupees for a 2 Mbps broadband plan or an annual rental of 9500 rupees for a 4 Mbps plan. The user gets 10 GB data allowance every month. After the cap, Airtel reduces the internet speed of the connection to 256 Kbps. Well, that then was the Gadget Guru show. I know it was a very special, very emotional show for me. I'm sure it was the same for you, but I do have bad news. Next week, the show is still going to be great, but it will not be this special because joining me back will be Vikram Chandra. I'll see you next week on the Gadget Guru show.